All right, so one of the projects I've been working on lately is in the barn. Um, of course, this barn was built in the, I don't know, early 1900s and on this side up in the haymow was actually designed to store grain they would pull wagons in here and with the overhead pulley system they would scoop the grain off the wagon the horses would drive forward they would actually drive out that end and that would lift the grain and they'd move it over and they would dump it you can see how they got these sides right here that's to be able to store all the grain up there. And from there, to get the grain down, they would shovel it up into that little house. And you can see that drop spout could drop it down. Or over here, over here, we would by hand put your bucket right under here and this little handle would slide out and you could fill your bucket to then feed the horses in, in these troughs or over here in this head trough right here, you'd dump your grain. So anyway, this side was designed for grain. This side was designed for hay and straw. And what I wanna do is the floor might be hard to see here but the floor i'll go over here you can see it a little better the floor on this thing is of course tongue and groove it's in great shape nice and sturdy nice and smooth it's so smooth because the hay and straw has protected it over the years but anyway, I'm working on getting all this hay and straw out. Of course, not only is there plenty of raccoon friends up here and uh, the feces that comes with it, but I want to get it cleaned out. And I think a basketball hoop would look pretty sweet right there. Um, now, of course, you can see some sunlight through those boards. Someday that's going to get fixed too. But for now, I just want to get this hay mow completely cleared out completely swept out cleaned up and the boys and i are going to play some basketball up here so that's the side over there that was designed for grain you can see all the walls are smooth so they would pile grain up in there and uh that's where they would store it pretty dang neat there's a little grain overhead hut that place is so cool but it's amazing how well this barn is still in shape. The couple roofs that have been put on it over the years are really the main reason for that. But the beams are good. The floor up here is perfect. And uh, we're gonna keep trying to keep this thing in good condition. I need to close up that window. That way rain and stuff can't get in here. But I cut, I cut this hole out with the chainsaw. I mean, the boards here were pretty weak anyway but this way I can push all this straw right out this hole so getting close to getting her done and we'll be up here playing some basketball with the boys here before too long so here's the outside of the barn where I cut the hole in to push this straw out I'm pushing it out and then I take my tractor and push it up over here and I'll eventually get it pushed up over there so like I said, the wood right here isn't ideal anyway, so I'm just gonna patch that section back up once I get all the straw pushed out of it. But yeah, this barn's got a brick foundation. Pretty sweet, the way it was built and how, how well it has survived. So everything's pretty dang square on it. But everything uh, takes a lot of time, so. This is one of the things I've been wanting to do for a while, but you can just see this is just a fraction of the amount of straw I've gotten out of it. So it's been a lot.